Take your favorite player and make his stats even better by going through and paralleling him. And today I'm gonna show you the fastest way to get that done. They did change a little bit the way that parallels are set up this year. Last year, you needed 10,000 XP to get all the way to parallel five. Right now, you only need 8,000. I think for level four, it was like 6,000 or something. So that's bumped down to only 4,000. So it's significantly easier to get these done. But once you get him to P5, every single staff will get a plus five attribute boost. So power, contact, speed, fielding, everything. It's gonna make your player a lot better. For a lot of guys, that's the equivalent to bumping them up five overall. So 94 overall players, pretty much gonna play like a 99 overall. But this early in the game, you got Shohei, you got Judge, you P5 them, you're saying pretty good. So of course, in order to even P5 somebody, you're gonna need to hop in and play a lot of games. It's definitely a grind process, takes a couple hours to get done. Dog, some of these people on Twitter are fucking crazy. Having like 400 P5 players in a year? Hell, it's midsummer and people are posting their P5 players. Touch grass, who am I talk? I don't have much of a life. But now back to business. If you are on PS5 or the new Xbox, you have Stadium Creator. So if you come up here to create, you can hop right into Stadium Creator. And if we just go up to the vault, most popular, you'll see the ones that get downloaded the most by people. And you're gonna wanna have something with some short walls similar to this, they're super tiny the lowest field dimensions you can possibly have and max elevation so this won't be an okay one home run derby i'm guessing it's gonna be really good yeah and then this is the one that i use katie's road to the show glitch i don't know who that is shout out to him but either way it's the smallest field you can possibly have the walls the dimensions max elevation the ball fucking lies out of here and if you just press start and click save changes you can actually save this so you can use this ballpark you can see right here in my stadiums i have it it does have this circle bat icon which means i just can't use it in online games which is fair i don't want one game to be 250 or something like that now that we have the stadium there are a couple options that you can do the first is you want to set your lineup to your liking always have the player you're trying to parallel as your leadoff hitter so let's say we're trying to parallel christian yelich we have him by number one in our lineup now. Then you're gonna just wanna fill the rest of the lineup because you're gonna have to go through the order at least once with players that you're trying to grind out for. So for example, I haven't finished spring breakout yet. I need James Wood XP. I have him in my lineup. I'm also trying to grind out the NL Central team of Bindi. So I got a lot of Brewers in my lineup and then one random Chris Taylor. I don't know why he's in there. But I think I actually just unlocked this Colson Montgomery. I need XP with him too. So we're gonna put him out there. He's gonna get at least one at bat in a very short field. And look how many times we're actually gonna have to do this in order to parallel five Christian Yelich it's gonna end up adding up and we should be able to get that done so you're really knocking out multiple things while trying to grind this out and then the options you can do is either you can come over to single player you can play conquest but of course you're gonna have to do all the different moves that come with conquest too you can't just hop into a game right away you're gonna have to move your pieces all around kind of deal with the simulations it just takes a little bit longer and is pretty taxing so I like doing mini season mini seasons is fun because it's a quick three inning game and it's also i am working towards goals too that can help me with team affinity you'll get some packs along the way but if i continue to play this repetitively win five mini seasons game i get a voucher for team affinity i think if i make the playoffs i get one if i make the semis i get one win championship i get one so I have potential got a lot of team affinity things that is the equivalent to, I think 30k that I can put towards the program. The only thing that kind of sucks with this is say I'm playing the whales for example. I am the away team so I will be playing at whales. Yes I'll get the bat first which is nice and gain Christian Yelich as many bats as possible but I won't be able to play in that created stadium. So instead I can either play this game in many seasons and I can get whatever XP that I want to and then you know just keep kind of going forward or i can hop into this game quick because especially if you're at the beginning you can lose probably half your games and you should still make the playoff and then if i just keep doing that and i play at home I'll be able to play at that create stadium that I just picked up. And if you were somebody who was on old gen consoles, go ahead and use Coors Field. It's not gonna be as short as the stadium we're using. It's gonna have bigger walls, but the max elevation is still gonna make the ball fly really well. So you should still have a lot of success hitting home runs, hitting a shit ton of balls kind of on the stadium. But probably the fastest way to do it, if you're just trying to parallel guys as fast as possible, you can come over to single player and you can just play versus the CPU. What's nice is I can pick a team with some 
really shitty pitching. Then I gotta go against some of those tough DB pitchers. I can go against a team like the Oakland A's. I can be the away team, so I get to bat first. But of course, you'll have to play in Oakland Coliseum, which is kind of a shithole. So instead, if you do that, definitely go ahead, be the home team. You're gonna be playing on rookie difficulty, so you should be able to just strike out three batters right away. But we're the home team. You go over, you press L1, go over to create stadiums. You see we got this road to the show glitch stadium here, and you should be able to use that stadium. Right now, I'm working on mini season, so I'm just gonna hop into this game versus Wales. I'm gonna quit out right away. I don't wanna play here. I'm just gonna quit out. The loss means nothing. But now I see that I'm the home team. I played the game, and I, of course, I'm gonna play on rookie difficulty. I want pitches right down the dick that can hit out in a maxed elevation, small little league field. We got Christian Yelich leading off for us because why you want to do that is in order for the XP to count for a player, you have to have nine batters bat for you. So you'll have to go through the entire lineup at least once. I think it counts the opposition too, but either way, if you have Christian Yelich up in order for the XP to count, you got to go all the way through Robin Yount. And if Robin Yount is gets a hit or some some base christian yelich gets another at bat why would you quit out right there you can get two at bats just right away for so essentially you should get two at bats with christian yelich every single game pitch inside of things is going to be significantly easier for this all you want to do is you want to just play versus the cpu and play the game out we'll play the orioles for example but Jenner actually will play a team with a really shitty offense like the Colorado Rockies, and we're gonna be the home team this time. We wanna make sure the opposition gets as many at-bats as possible. This, you don't wanna play at the Crade Stadium. You don't wanna give up a ton of runs, so we're gonna go to a ballpark that's generally pretty big, so let's do something like San Diego, Peco Park. Pick the pitcher that you want. For this example, we'll use Jacob Mizorowski, future Brewer Ace. You can have your lineup that you want. It's not gonna matter too much if you wanna do this quick. And as I mentioned before, pitching out in the stretch is always significantly faster than pitching out the windup. Jacob Mizrowski pitches out the stretch all the time, so I don't need to do this. I can just pitch I want. I play the whole nine in the game for a pitcher. So here's a look at everything that you can get for XP. Playing versus the CPU and mini seasons or whatever is going to always be significantly easier. Offline grinds gets you a one-time multiplier, so you just get whatever is shown to you right here. If you do decide to play online, it's going to be significantly harder but if you play ranked, advanced, BR, you do get a 1.5 PXP multiplier. And then here's the things for hitters that you can get. You get 10 PXP for a plate appearance, five for a single, 10 for a double, 20 for a triple, 20 for a home run, five for a run, five for a RBI, five for a stolen base, and five for a walk. Those will all go up a little bit more if you're playing online. Pitch inside things, it's set up the same way, except PXP, you get 40 for every in and you pitch, 20 for a win, 10 for a strikeout, 10 for a quality start, 20 for a save, 20 for a hold, 25 for a complete game, and 25 shutout. And you see the PXP set up exactly the same, where you only need 8,000 to get to P5. So you see, if you just pitch the pitcher every single time, you see why this is significantly, significantly faster to do than doing a hitter. But hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment in the comment section some videos you'd like to see going forward. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Road to 5,000 subs. Hopefully we can get there by the end of April. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.